Now we can see different colors of flowers and fruits like this is pink color, magenta, then this is orange, uh, this is scarlet red and again these are purple color flowers, bright yellow, white, purple. So these are different color flowers like here again we can see red brackets uh, in shrimp plant. Then we can see here purple color, light purple flower. Uh, we can see here zinnia of different colors, light orange, magenta. So there are different colors present in flowers and fruits. Now these colors are basically due to the pigments called as anthocyanins. Now what are anthocyanins which give different colors to the flowers? Anthocyanins are colored flavonoids including a wide range of colors red, pink, purple, blue and magenta, orange red, rosy red, light pink like we have earlier seen in the flowers. Basically anthocyanins they are also plant phenolic compounds. So they are phenols produced by plants which give different colors to the flowers and fruits. Anthocyanins, because they give colors to the flower, they make them attracting. So they attract different animals and insects towards them because of the colors. And in that way, they help these colors, they help in anthocyanins, help in pollination and seed dispersal. Now, what is pollination? Pollination is pollen grains, they fall on the stigma. And then uh, they reach toward the ovule present in the ovary and fertilization take place. So this uh, falling of pollen grains on the stigma is called as pollination. Now these pollen grains, they may be carried by animals and insects when they get attracted and sit on the flowers. Now then when they go and sit on another flower, they may help in pollination. And similarly, when animals or birds they come to eat certain fruits, then they will take seeds and then they can throw those seeds somewhere else. So they help in pollination and seed dispersal. So anthocyanin pigments, they are very important for plant animal interaction because when they are attracted by color, they will visit that flower or fruit and then this will help in interaction of plants and animals. Now if we see the structure of anthocyanins, they are having aromatic rings there are three rings a b and c and anthocyanins they also have uh, sugar at position three you can see here this is the sugar attached at the uh, carbon number three so anthocyanins they are glycosylated mean they are sugary sugary in nature they are glycosides but sometime they may not have sugars then it is called as anthocyanidin mean this is uh, without sugar. Now these pigment they are present in the vacuole of the cell and color is also determined by pH of the cell vacuole. Color of anthocyanidin because we have seen different colors now that depends on part on the substitute attached to ring B. B ke saath kya attached hai that will determine the color. Agar zyada hydroxyl group attached hai so color a jayega blue. Because this will have a longer wavelength. If you see the light spectrum, longer wavelength, they will have less energy. Shorter wavelength, they will have more energy. So longer wavelength, they will have blue color. And if instead of hydroxyl group, there is a methoxyl group, right? Then light absorption will shift to a shorter wavelength and color will be red. So in that way, depending upon the side chains in the anthocyanin pigments, color is dependent if more hydroxyl they will shift toward the bluish coloration and if there are more methoxyl they will shift toward the reddish coloration so this is about how anthocyanins they provide different colors to the flower so this is all about anthocyanins which are important for animal and plant interactions as well as they give beautiful color to the flower and increase the beauty of the surrounding Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe.